and Little Max Light is going to win it. Little Max Light has been a danger. He's been incredible. Ten rounds of fighting. Ten rounds of pure amazement. It's danger money for danger boy. Little Max Little Light Max is Light. champion of the world. This was my first time owning a team in a Formula Apex League. I went in with no experience. But I decided to throw in the gauntlet and go for it. At the end of the day, you never know, this could be something great. And great it was. It was an amazing season with great moments, but also with heartbreak. But at the end of the season, our team pulled through, fighting every driver for the championships. Every point counted. Our team remained strong until the very end. And after our main rival Ferrari threw in the towel, the championship was ours. We had done it. We had won both championships thanks to the hard work of all our drivers who were dedicated to win. And the star of the show, Little Max Light, who never gave up and did not let a DNF deter him away from his full potential. PARC has shown me that if done well, leagues can be a great experience, creating a team and making memories. And then, at the end of the season, silence. The future of PARC was uncertain, and no one knew if, if it was going to continue for another season, even though everyone wanted a second season. But then, the silence was broken. PARC had released their season 2 calendar, which meant only one thing. It's time for round 2. So over the season breaks, some of the drivers had left for their own personal reasons, and I had to sign in some new drivers including Guns and Dungeon, both of which have shown amazing potential in my streams. Although we don't have the same lineup as we had last time, I knew we had formed a new but strong team. However, I wasn't the only one to do some driver swaps. Many of the other teams have strengthened their lineups, which means next season won't be as smooth as the first one. Competition is guaranteed to be even crazier which although may scare someone away from competing, I welcome the new challenges as we try to defend our championship this season. However, regulation changes are coming in a few races in the middle of the season for the content update 10 update, which is coming just probably in the third race, which means we will have totally different cars and that could shake up the grid a bit, but we'll have to see for sure. Hello? You won't believe this, they contacted us. You don't mean? Porsche contacted me. They want to buy the team. How much will they pay? They said about five Robux. <laughs> 200 million. Oh my, 200 million is tempting, but I'd rather keep my team. Look, think about it for a second. Porsche, they've got all the facilities that we need to make the best car, the fastest car, and plus they said they wouldn't mind having you stay around as the team principal. That's perfect. So that means we don't have to use that weird green car in 2024? Yep. They want it to be rebranded as Porsche. Oh, great. See ya. New drivers, new rivals, and a new team. I wonder what the second season of PARC will bring. Make sure to like and subscribe as I will be making videos about the championships. And also make sure to subscribe to PARC's YouTube channel to keep up with the action. And with that, see you on the racetrack. If you have enjoyed this video, do make sure to like and subscribe. Consider becoming a YouTube member or sending a super thanks to support the channel. And thank you to Rootsow, Beast, and Creeperman for being ultimate members.